Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how you can get the same or a very similar Windows Phone home screen experience on your Nokia Android device or any other Android device. So you'll be able to get the live tiles as well as an identical app drawer, which will make you feel like you're using a Windows Phone. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is pretty simple actually. All you need to do is you need to go to the Play Store and you need to look for Launcher 10. I already have it installed, but you need to install it. And then after you install it, you can set it as your default home screen. So let me show you how you can do that. So you go to the settings, you go to apps and notifications, default apps, home app, and then select launcher 10. Once you do that, you'll automatically be transferred to your Windows Phone experience. And if you swipe up from anywhere, you'll go back to the Windows Phone home experience. Now, this application doesn't have live tiles enabled by default. That is a paid option, unfortunately. But I think it's definitely worth supporting the developer because the developer has worked really hard in ensuring that you get as many options as you want. So I'll show you some of the options here just quickly. So if you go to themes and colors, Look at how many lifestyle options you can. But on top of that, you can also fully customize what kind of color you want. So you're not limited by the selection that's initially given. So let's say I wanna go this specific shade of purple. Just select it and then here you go. You can also play around with the live tiles transparency. So you can get transparent or non-transparent live tiles and change the wallpaper and so on. There are so many options found in this application, which is really impressive because it is even more customizable than Windows Phone itself. So now I have my uh, pinky purplish live tiles. Look at how you can customize the icons themselves. So you can select the label color, you can select the icon design and icon shape and you can change as well the dimensions of the tiles and it's customizable to your heart's content, as you can see. So you're not limited by anything that was a limitation on Windows Phone originally. And that's really, really cool. And on top of that, look at the app drawer. So it's exactly as you remember for when, from the Windows Phone days. You can select the letter and then go directly to it. And for the most part, I would say it's smooth. It works obviously better with high-end devices. I'm using a Nokia 5.4 here, and it, but it works quite fine to be honest on this as well, but it can be a bit smoother on higher-end devices. Anyways, this is what I wanted to show you today. I'll show you an experience that I've created myself. So this is on the Nokia 3.4, and you can see the live tiles here, the eToro applications telling you what's going on, maps, the contacts are also interchanging and so on and so forth. So it's really, really cool. So that's what I wanted to show you. I hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.